Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug, covering the switch offset function uh, to allow you to move between time zones uh, with a date time offset data type. This function became available in SQL 2008. I missed it completely and had a viewer point it out to me um, in the comments for my other video on time zones and date time offset. So I think it's still a worthy video in that it gives you an idea of how to deal with date time date times and date time offsets um, but this switch offset is really a very handy um, handy function to use so let's get into it so here we are I, I'm doing a select get date and uh, the server is returning to me a date time for some time somewhere um, I happen to know that I'm in the Eastern Standard Time and that my database is hosted in the Azure Data Center in the East Coast so this is returning to me um, something that happens to be GMT so um, Greenwich Mean Time or an offset of zero so um, I happen to know that my time right now is 2 p.m. rather than 7 p.m. so this is five hours off and um, also notice that there is no time zone information that I get back from get date because when I inspect what comes back from get date it comes back as a date time data type so I have no time zone information in this so if I want to get the date the, the time zone information I can uh, use instead of get date I can use the sys date time offset function and it gives me a um, date time offset data type in return notice a couple of things number one it gives me a time zone or the offset uh, for the time zone and it also gives me more detail or higher accuracy in the fractional part of the seconds so this proves uh, that Azure is returning uh, UTC 0, Universal uh, Time Coordinated, um, as uh, you know, zero offset or Greenwich Mean Time, which makes complete sense. And certainly if I have multiple uh, databases across data centers around the world in different time zones, it would be nice if they were all um, providing the same time zone in the date that they were creating or returning so um, so again my current database happens to be in the eastern uh, time zone of the US which is negative 5 UTC so for my purposes my business my customers my organization uh, I would like to be reporting it in Eastern Standard Time so if I'm getting this back as 7 p.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time, how do we get that into an Eastern Standard Time? Well, um, if you look at your different options and different ways of manipulating or tr that you might try to get this is certainly get date is giving me GMT and I get no time zone. So I could cast it into a date time offset data type, which is going to give me time zone information. But when I do the cast without providing a time zone, my, when I do a cast, there is no way for me to provide a time zone. By default, it gives me Greenwich Mean Time. There is another function called to date time offset. This is sort of a specialized cast or convert where I'm create, I'm taking a date time data type and I'm turning it into a date time offset data type. So it's converting, but along the way I'm providing time zone information. So note what it does, instead of me getting a time zone of zero, I get the time zone of negative five, but my hour is still 7 p.m. So it really hasn't done the full adjustment necessary to get me into Eastern Standard Time. Now, I can say, well, just directly give me a sys date time offset. And as we saw before, this will give it to me in Greenwich Mean Time, and it hasn't, it's not Eastern Standard Time yet. So here's the way you want to do it. If I do a switch offset and um, provide to switch offset the um, Greenwich Mean Time result here and adjust the offset by 5 note that it does two things it provides the correct 
time zone information in the result and it also adjusted the hours so it is correctly 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so 2 p.m. and then Eastern Standard Time so this is is very helpful um, a couple of things to note is get date is not as accurate uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it has fewer decimal points. So if we look here, uh, it's just dot .273. And also, per the documentation on date times, um, date times are always rounded to increments of uh, 0 milliseconds, 3 milliseconds, or 7 milliseconds. So the last digit right here is always either a 0, a 3, or a 7. So here I'm getting more accuracy and uh, that thousands place will not always be one of those three numbers and I'll get more uh, decimal points. So before date time, or I'm sorry, before switch offset existed, here's the way I had to do it. Um, so the top version is the easy way, the new way, and the bottom version is the old hard way uh, prior to 10 years ago. And effectively what I had to do was go get the uh, you know sys date time offset at Greenwich Mean Time, subtract five hours from it using get date, and now I have a date time offset um, with the hours adjusted, and now I need to do my convert and add into it um, the correct time zone, right? So I kind of had to adjust the hours and also adjust the time zone. So now that's the way I would you know, previously do it. And if you think about um, date time offset as a data type that's a complex, complex object, it has a bunch of parts and um, they're related, but they're all whole numbers and we have to uh, adjust them and dates and times and calendars are complicated things. Based on this, it sort of looks like this switch offset changes the time zone and the hour, but it might actually change more than that, right? So here we have year, month, day, all that stays the same. You know, most of this stays the same um, when I'm converting it. But let's say I am near a time part boundary, like the end of the year or the beginning of the year. And so I came up with this example of that I'll run here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm contriving up uh, December 31st near midnight in Eastern Standard Time or New Year's Eve Eastern Standard Time. And then I use switch offset to represent that time in Greenwich Mean Time. And then I show both of them. So my point here is that not only did it change the time zone and change the hour portion like it did in the example before, but because we moved forward across a year boundary, I've actually got a change in the day, the month, and the year of this new date time offset. So this is, you know, if it's still New Year's Eve here in Eastern Standard Time, it's actually New Year's Day over uh, Greenwich Mean Time. So uh, in summary, switch offset is really helpful. And um, this is not a simple task if you had to write this code yourself. And certainly I would rather be uh, using switch offset, a reliable kind of standard way of dealing with uh, moving from time zone to time zone than creating my own uh, kind of rolling my own way of converting from time zone to, to time zone. It saves me time and it's going to give me more reliability because it's a library function and uh, you know just as another caution if you're looking for uh, high precision on the fractions of seconds use sys date time offset to get that uh, date time offset rather than using get date. Thanks for watching.